Konnichiwa, I'm Mimi Hart, and welcome back to the Asylum Challenge Part 2. Um, yeah, so last part, I do apologize because I really wasn't up to beat, you know, my usual self on here. I was tired, and I just got through making this, these sims whenever I was recording. So it was kind of, I don't know. I just wanted to take a break from The Sims, I guess, but I also wanted to get that part up, so that's what I did. And, um, yeah, so now it is currently, sorry, I was messing with my, um, eyeshadow thingy. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I was doing that, but I was. But anyway, it is currently nighttime here in Oasis Springs. Um, all of the household pretty much is lined up for the bathroom currently. Um, still trying to remember their names, guys. Um, currently, Zach is in here. Um, I think I'm going to have um, Rhea come in here and try to use the bathroom. Hopefully, she gets in there before anyone else can. And hopefully, no one else walks in on her because that would be super embarrassing, right? I wouldn't like to be walked in on either. Um, what does she want to do? She wants to, she wants to tell a story to herself. We can do that. And, um, chat with Nate. Okay, we can do that too, because she does need to make friends. Um, so, yeah. Um, I don't know, guys. Um, <laughs> I do want to say, though, if you guys like this challenge later on, after everything gets really interesting. If you would like to see me do some more challenges like this, you know, such as Runaway Teen or um, the Homeless oh, Challenge oh or maybe oh. even 100 Babies, I will do that. And, um, oh, yeah, if I get enough support on this challenge, I'll do more challenges. Um, do expect an, um, an array, an array, an array. Do you expect an anime? Damn it! <laughs> Do you expect an anime review sometime this week? Um, on I, I think I'm gonna do Pet Shop of Horrors. We're gonna talk about Pet Shop of Horrors. It's gonna be a short and simple review. The anime is only four episodes long. I'm not gonna go into detail because I could do the review right here, but I'm not going to do that. And you need to eat your mac and cheese, Raya. Oh, oh, what happened? What happened with them? Um, okay, so she did chat with Nate. She needs to tell a- oh, take deep breaths. Um, i never seen this interaction before. Um, yes, take deep breaths. Oh, no wonder I never had a squeamish sim before, so I've never seen anything like that. How interesting. What is this? She is, um, embarrassed because I think someone walked in on her or she walked in on someone and saw them naked or something I'm not really sure or maybe it's just because um, Jade is running around in her underwear because she said screw um asylum pajamas I'm not wearing them if I can't wear something I like then I'm not wearing anything at all so that's basically what she said and that's how she is the way she is um, I have a current asylum challenge, a current household asylum challenge, and it's not going so well. I already had a sim die, <laughs> so hopefully this one will be a lot better and um, a little bit more entertaining. Um, we really need to make um, Rhea get up here and go to sleep because... She is getting tired, and I don't want somebody to grab a bed before we... D Matter of fact, I think everyone else is going upstairs to sleep. There's three people, four. We better be the last person. Yeah, we better go up there and grab a bed before... We don't have a place to sleep tonight. <laughs> and she's going to be in a grumpy mood like she already is, but... Oh, we just kicked her out of there unwillingly. That does not go against the rules. I did not mean to do that. I didn't even do it. Also, this is the only time I'm going to be doing this, I think. <laughs> oh, come on, Jade. Um, 
But anyways, I had um. What is his? What did I name him? I know he's supposed to be Joseph's brother. Um, Andre. He paid himself. Anyways, I had him get a haircut. Basically, we're gonna say that the rules of the asylum was for guys. I guess they couldn't have long hair. I don't know. Something along that lines. Oh my goodness. Hold on. I want to check their moods. I don't want them to die. Very embarrassed. Very embarrassed. This is scary. Oh my goodness. Okay, Rhea um, is getting her sleep. Yeah, they're all in robes. I downloaded, I literally just downloaded hospital gowns for them. And it's not on my computer. I don't know. My custom content has been doing that lately. I've been looking for more custom content and finding it and not being able to, um, to see it in my game at all. Oh, look at these two sleeping on the couch. <laughs> oh. Oh. Um, whenever she gets out of the shower, I guess we'll come down here and talk to her and see how she's doing. And try to calm her down and keep her happy. That way she doesn't lose her mind. Let's see. Um, he is very embarrassed too. So I think what we're gonna do actually is talk to him. Make him feel more comfortable, I guess. Um, well, we'll tell him a joke about ducks, because why not? <laughs> Sounds interesting. Talk about good old Howard the Duck. Um, black, um, critic guy reference. <laughs> I love you, by the way. You're freaking awesome. But anyways, um, yeah. We'll talk, we'll tell a joke about Howard the Duck and how horrible it is. If you guys don't know what that is, that is a movie, um, a movie I wouldn't recommend. i never seen it. I know that sounds horrible, but I won't watch that movie unless, you know, I'm with a bunch of friends and, like, goofing around. Oh! Oh, I'm sorry. We were just trying to cheer you up, telling jokes about Howard the Duck. Maybe he likes that movie. Um, no, we're gonna be nice to him. We're gonna ask him about his day. We'll give him a treat, too. Because it is getting closer and closer to Halloween. And all that good stuff. We will um, share a melancholy theory. Mer melancholy theory. <laughs> I can't talk. Aww. Don't cry. Can you please be nice to us? We are trying to be nice to you. Don't be an asshole. Um, we are going to discuss interests with him. Make him feel better, because I don't want Sims dying on the first night, kind of. Imply mother is a llama. We're not going to do that. We're going to be nice. Um, we're going to have a gossip with him. And we're not just going to tell him goodbye, because that would be rude. We're going to get to know him. And all that fun stuff. Maybe make a friend. We're going to complain about problems. Tell him that he's not the only one that's going through things. I mean, we're locked in here with crazy people just like he is. So, um, he doesn't need to feel like he's the only one. We'll be funny with him, too. Let's see. What can we do that's funny? We're going to tell a joke. No, that didn't work out. He likes Howard the Duck. So, yeah. Oh, everybody's embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed. Wait, something's broken. That's lovely. The sink's broken. So I guess we'll stop talking to him and come over here and repair the sink. That way we can get our handiness skill up. Afterwards, um, oh my god, this house is disgusting. We will finish this painting. Um, yeah. What else is broken? The toilet is broken. How lovely. We have 390 simoleons. Right now. Where did all of our simoleons go to? And she is feeling angry. Aggravating conversation. Feeling angry after an unpleasant conversation. Spooky sweet spook. Um. <laughs> spooky sweets bestow. The feeling. The feeling one gets from giving. 
a treat is just a sweet, as sweet as the treat itself. Aw. How nice. Let's check up on everyone else. I think she's feeling sad she is. We can come try to cheer her up in a little bit, I guess. We'll, we will um, be friendly to her and ask her about her day. Um, how are our late <laughs> damn it I swear I can't talk I'm just st st stuttering this whole freaking video already we don't have a close relationship with anyone quite yet I think our closest relationship is with Zach right now and we hate um, Nina Caliente so but I mean she's not part of the asylum so it doesn't matter I guess she did she even go outside to finish a painting? I don't even know. I haven't been paying attention. She did not. Hmm. <laughs> Fine. Okay. Talk to them. Okay, so nobody's feeling embarrassed anymore. Thank good. Okay. Okay, you need to chill. Calm down. Isaiah. Isaiah <laughs> is hissing at people. You are not a cat, my friend. That's me. <laughs> I am a cat. Because I, you know, I hiss at people. No, I'm just kidding, but seriously. Um, okay, so she's going to go out here and finish this. Hopefully finish it, and we can sell it for us to get some simoleons. And go towards our aspiration. Um, Venus is feeling energized. Um... Jade is uncomfortable, and so is Sam, and, um, Andre is sleeping, and, uh, mostly everybody is just feeling uncomfortable. Cool, they're chatting it up. I said finish his painting, but I guess you're not in the mood to. Then fix the toilet, because we don't need a broken toilet. And the better handiness skill, the better life will be in this asylum. And we will scavenge for parts. Gosh, her energy dropped really low. Um, tell a joke. Well, we tried, but it didn't work. She's feeling happy right now, actually. Everybody's just chilling out in the bathroom. It, what's this? Jade has discovered that Venus is an alien. Oh my gosh. I would have never known with the blue skin and the black eye, the big black eyes and stuff like that. I would have never guessed. Never in a million years. She's all blue for crying out loud. But she's so lovely. But she's feeling embarrassed about it. Aww. Aww. Don't be afraid to be who you are. That, that's sad. Okay, did you find everything? Awesome. Awesome, awesome. We will throw the rest of that in the trash. And what else can we do? We can... Um, we better not. Yeah, there's people in here. We better not. Actually, I think that room is separate. I think it is. Is it? It... I'm sorry. It is. So, you know what? We are going to come in... Oh, whoops. We are going to come in here and scavenge for parts. That way we can upgrade the toilets and everything. And, um, maybe they'll... Maybe they won't break so much. I'm hoping. What are we having? A cup of coffee? That's nice. I wouldn't mind having some coffee right now. For the longest time, though, I actually hated coffee. I couldn't stand it. Um, coffee, because, like, basically every time I tried it, it was always black and bitter and nasty to me. I don't like bitter coffee. I like super sweet coffee because I am a sweets fanatic, and I have to have sweets to function. <laughs> but, um, yeah, um, recently I have tried some French vanilla or caramel coffee, and I love it, and I want some of it right now. Um, 
Wait, what? What? What's this? Is this that trash? Okay, she's going to throw it away. Nice. Um, so who can we talk to? We need to talk to someone. Sorry if it's a bit laggy. I don't know why this game does this to me. How about we have a converse? Oh, well, he's sleeping. We'll have a conversation with Andre. I mean, not Andre. Isaiah. We'll complain about problems to him again. And, I mean, we are gloomy sims. We will ask him about his day. Ask him if he's feeling better after having a cup of coffee. Coffee. Oh my gosh. Coffee. Um, what else? Let's ask him the cloud gaze. That'd be nice. Who's is everybody sleeping? Yeah, they are. Cool. Well, we'll go cloud gazing. That'll be like the highlight of our day. Every day we're gonna cloud gaze with someone. I already decided because we need that positive um feel because we don't really have it. It's an asylum. Who is here? Who is this? You don't want to be here. Trust me. Dina Caliente. Um. We're gonna insult you. <laughs> because I don't... Well, I don't really like your sister, for one. We are not... Oh, well, maybe she's leaving. Yeah, yeah, go home. Go home. Tell Nina about how we ignored you and wouldn't let you in. Well, you know what? We could probably don't 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 do it. We could probably see um if she is like her sister or if she's gonna be nice to us or something. We don't have to just be rude and assume she's just like um Nina. I don't know if we're allowed to have visitors, though, to be honest. Okay, cool. Oh, she's nice, so... We'll chat about property values, because <laughs> why not? Everyone else is just in here chilling. Sam, well, was reading a book. Um, Venus, Nate, and... Andre is sitting in here watching, what are they watching? They're watching sports, it looks like. So that's cool, I guess. They're all just in there chilling. Um, Zach is in here as well. Everybody loves Zach alone. Okay, Nate's coming in here now. That's good. Oh, look at Zach. He's so cute. They're all so cute. What am I saying? Are they being friendly to each other? Um, let me see. Wait, what's this? Sparked by clouds. Okay. And she's also very tired. So I guess what we'll do is we'll have her... We'll have her grab a bed. And go to sleep. We'll see how everybody else is doing. Um, how's Jade? She's up here. What is she doing? Who is she talking to? Or is she playing a game? I can't... Oh, she's playing Tetris. That's what she's doing. She's playing Tetris. I'm pretty sure they don't allow phones in the asylum, but... Whatever. I mean, you break the rules anyway. Which, I kind of like her. She's... she's I, I think she's cool. She's unique and different. Um, wait, I just want to see. Okay, that's energized, and, um, that's energized. Okay, I, I was scared. I thought it was embarrassment. For a minute. Embarrassment is more yeller. Oh, look at Venus in here cooking. We'll say that she's trying to learn how to eat human food. That's why she's so skinny, basically. She came to Earth. Okay, Venus is sort of backstory. I haven't, like, written it down or anything. Oh, I don't want to be Sam. We don't need to control Sam. Venus's backstory, though, is basically she 
was, I guess, flying around in space, and she kind of crash landed in the sim world, and she can't get back to space which is driving her insane because she misses her hometown but hold on let me look at her traits really quick um i'm kind of um just guessing around but yeah she's clumsy that's why she um that's how she landed is that she's actually pretty clumsy and doesn't know i guess how to get around what oh what Uh, no. No. What are you doing here? Um, get up, get down, get, wake up and come yell at her. Give her a rude introduction because she's mean to you. Anyway, as I was saying about Venus, she is a clumsy sim. She crashed into the sim world and she is now going insane because she wants to go back home. She wants to return home. She misses her alien family and friends. And she's basically kind of trying to learn to adapt in the human world because she does not, she can't go home at the moment. And she wants to make friends. Um, so she's been reading a lot of books on Earth, learning about human ways and everything, like history books and stuff, learning about their cultures and um, everyone's different customs and things on Earth. And, um, she's still trying to get used to human food. That's why I made her so skinny. She is so skinny. And, um, you know, she wants a big happy family, but obviously not here on Earth. She wants to be with, I guess, maybe an alien person, but that could change. You never know what, what's going to happen in this asylum. But yeah, these two are not getting along. I know she's squeamish, but we might have her... F <gasps> we're gonna do it. Even though she's squeamish, we're gonna have them fight. Because I never had a fight in one of my LPs. Come on, kick her ass. Do it. Win, please. If she doesn't, we're gonna have her... Um, up her athletic skills. Oh my goodness. Oh, ooh. This is really interesting. This is intense. I hope that she wins. I'm scared. She did! Yes! She won! <laughs> you might be a little squeamish and a little timid, but you are very good at fighting. Oh, what's this? Oh, she's nauseated. The stomach isn't feeling so good from getting in a fight. You know what? It'll be fine. You'll get used to it. What's this? Triumph. Nice. Wait, I want to read that. I never got in a fight before, so I want to read this. Triumph. Listen with confidence emerging from an intense scuffle in this game. Yes. You this is a face of a warrior right here. She, <laughs> she kicked her ass. And she needs to be proud of it. Because I honestly didn't think we were going to win. Just because we don't have an athletic skill, I don't think. And, yeah. This is part two and already getting in a fight. Oh, no, that's really nice. Sam is cleaning the toilet for us. Oh, what a sweetheart. Um, too uncomfortable to do this. Oh, we need to go calm him down. Wait, I didn't mean to do that. But we need to go calm him down. But yeah, sorry if my, um, backstory was a little bit, um, or for, uh, my backstory for Venus was a little bit, um, random. It was random for me too. I was just kind of making it up on the go. And I thought it sounded nice, I guess. I mean, it would make sense why she would be insane, right? And super skinny. <laughs> Maybe, I guess, the asylum can help her interact and stuff. Okay, calm down. Chill out. 
Okay, don't be mad at us. It ain't our fault. Oh no. Oh no, we are not peeing on ourselves. We need to go to the bathroom right now. Come on. Oh, is she still here? Oh, what's wrong with you? She is still here. You know what? Don't talk to him. Don't talk to him. You just kicked Nina's booty, so... It's all good. Yeah, hurry up and go to the bathroom and... Get something to eat, I guess, and go to bed. Because you are tired. Um, okay, we're gonna cook a garden salad. Even though, we, uh, like I said, we can't cook garden salad, but I mean, it helps our cooking skill. That way we can actually cook better things. I mean, we can cook better things, but whatever. Wait, what's this? I want to read this. Hold on. Don't go away, and don't judge me for my bad eyesight and reading. Andre has discovered Venus is an alien. Oh my gosh. Everyone's finding out. You know what? We're just going to replace that. <laughs> Cause she's tired. She doesn't have to go. Come on now. What are you doing? And the refrigerator's broken. How nice. Oh, this is getting interesting. First part, I was like, oh, well, everybody's getting along. Everyone's being so nice to each other. But now, everybody is tense. And what are you doing out here? But yeah, everybody's tense now and not getting along as well. And yeah, it's sad, but it's interesting and entertaining. I kind of wonder if I should get rid of the coffee sheen. Coffee sheen. What is wrong with me? And not being able to talk in this episode. We need to probably get rid of the coffee machine. I don't know if that's allowed. So, yeah, I'm kind of worried about that. I don't want to necessarily break the rules. Sometimes I guess I'll bend them. I'll see on. But I kind of want to, you know, I want it to be challenging. But if it's not challenging enough, I guess I can make it even more challenging, right? Because this is not supposed to be easy. And yeah, last video also wanted to say that I'm really sorry. I didn't get to um put the person's name on the screen of the um creator of this gallery or this freaking uh asylum. I can't talk. Don't judge me. I don't know why. <sighs> um but yeah, whoever made this this is amazing. I hope you don't mind me using it for this if you are watching by chance but it is lovely and I adore it so I might end this part here shortly and I'll record after maybe whenever oh goodness calm down what that poor TV do to you is it talking I don't know, it could be talking about aliens not existing or something and she she feels even more out of place than what she what she thought. Oh poor thing, I feel sorry for her. Everybody's just weirded out because she's an alien. Maybe we will comfort her and be kind. Um can she not go to bed? Is everybody has everybody taken the bed? Oh, no. This isn't good. This is our first night on the couch. She's gonna nap. Oh, actually, we need to turn off this. Okay, it's off. Good. Take a nap. So, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this part of um, the Asylum Challenge. Please, um, remember to like, comment, and Hit that red subscribe button down below to become one of my kawaii subscribers right now. And, like I said, if you would like to see more challenges like this, please let me know. 
what challenge you would want me to do and I will research it and I will read the rules and I will eventually get to it. Um, also, I don't know if you guys remember, but in the earlier parts of Get to Work, well, not, no, I don't think it was in the earlier, earlier parts, but anyway, in one of my Get to Work episodes, I did say if I reach 100 subscribers, I'll be doing a giveaway. I'll either be doing a luxury part, well, it depends on what comes out, too. Um, I will be giving away Luxury Party or Perfect Patio or um, some of the other little stuff pack thingies that come out like um, like those. I probably won't be giving away Outdoor Retreat or anything but I will give away one of the stuff packs. So if you guys want that then um, I guess become a subscriber <laughs> and you could have a chance but you know I don't, I'm not going to use that to um, just subscribers I genuinely want to entertain you guys and I hope this is entertaining because it's entertaining me it's fun um, my fiance works and I get kind of bored whenever he's not home so this is a lot of fun for me Anyway, you guys, I love you all so much. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time. Sayonara. Johnny.